again, everybody. Fiber Spider back again with a continuation part three, and this should be the last part of the Pineapple Stitch Blanket. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're having a good one. And let's get started in with row 14, shall we? All right. So at the end of the last part, we had just finished up our third tier of the double V's. Well, now we're going to start separating them just like we did down over here. Because as you can see, right here we have one, well, that's sort of one. It's one, two, and three. And then in that third one, that's where we start separating them. Uh, now, this is the, the bottom. Um, it was row four is where we started, but it is, you know, from here on up, it's a total of three, and then we do the separation. Okay, but it's going to be following suit very similarly to this pineapple down here, but we have to get it established. So let's do the doing. Chain up three. It will, of course, make sense with a bunch of repetitions under your belt. And then into this chain one space, another double V. That's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, so we have to separate these double Vs. So chain two, and then another double V in the double V. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, chain three, scooting right along, working on the eyelets in that chain three space eyelet there, single crochet, chain three, single in the next eyelet, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next, chain three, and single in the last, which I believe is four chain three eyelets. One, two, three, four. Yep, it is. It's nice to be right upon occasion. Okay, and then from here, chain three, double V in the double V, so in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, okay, separating this double V from this double V with two chains, and then into that second double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we are. Okay, from here, going to continue working on this pineapple. I'm going to create four eyelets, so chain three into that first eyelet single crochet, chain three, and single, chain three, single, chain three, single, chain three, and single, and that's it for the eyelets. <laughs> All right, from here, chain three, and then work on these two double Vs. So chain three, into the double V, a double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, Then separating this double V from the next, 
chain two, scooting right into that next double V with a double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And there you go. That is the end of row 14. Row 15. Okay, start by chaining up three. I feel like a bit of a broken record, but hey, I like to be thorough. And then a double V into the double V. Two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. I just really like how this is self-edging. And I figure, yes, let's capitalize on that. All right, and then from here, we need to create a single V stitch in the chain two space. So going directly from this double V into the chain two space with a double chain one double. All right, then into the double V, another double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles, there we are. Then scooting onto the pineapple, chain three, and into that first chain three eyelet, single, chain three, and single, chain three, single, chain three, single, and we are out of eyelets, so it's only three chain three eyelets for this row. Onwards and upwards, chain three, double into the double V, there we go. So it's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then filling in the chain two space, double, chain one, double to create a single V. There we go. Double V in the double V. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, and scooch over to the next pineapple chain three, single in the chain three eyelet, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next, and there you go. All right scooting right along, foot loose and fancy free. Chain three so that we can get to the next double V. Okay, so double V in the double V with two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. V stitch in the chain two space. So double, chain one, double. There we are. And then double V in the double V. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And there you are, the end of row 15. Row 16. 
Chain up three. Turn the work and double V into the double V. So in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Almost had it. Okay, and then into the single V stitch, we need to create a double V stitch. So in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So we're gonna have three double Vs in succession once again, just like we did in the last part. There we go. And then in this double V, another double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. So we've got our th three double Vs in a row. Then from here, we have to get over to the pineapple again. So, chain three, and single in the first chain three eyelet, chain three, single in the next, chain three, single in the next, and there we go. We've got two chain three eyelets this row. Okay, scooting to the next group of double Vs, chain three, double V in the double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, okay double V in the single V. So in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, then double V in the double V, in the chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, then working our way to the next pineapple. Chain three, single in the first eyelet, chain three, single in the next eyelet, chain three, and single in the last eyelet. Then scooting our way over to the next grouping of V stitches. Chain three, double V in the double V. It's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Double V in the single V with two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, double V in the last double V, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And there you go. And that, my dears, is the end of row 16. Row 17. Okay, chain up three and turn your work. There we go. 
double V into the double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and then, well, we have to have nine doubles in this center double V. We need to expand this out and create a new pineapple. So right in there in that chain one space, nine doubles. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we are. Okay, we've got three, six, and nine. Beautiful. Then double V into the next double V. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. All right, scooting off to the next pineapple, chain three, single in the first eyelet, chain three, single in the next eyelet. And that's it, we only have one eyelet for this row. All right, and then chain three, Okay, double V in the double V, that's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, nine doubles in the second double V. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Just going to double check. I've got three, six, and nine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Then double V into the double V. So in that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Chain one, two more doubles. And we will be ready to rock with the next pineapple. Okay, a little bit more yarn though. Okay, so chain three, single in the chain three eyelet, chain three, single in the next chain three eyelet, then chaining three to get to the next double V. And in that chain one space, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, and then nine doubles in the middle double V. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Three, six, and nine. I always try to double check. All right, then from here, directly into the last double V with a double V. Two doubles. chain one and two doubles. And there you go. That is the end of row 17. So at this point, you should really see how things are starting to move and groove and do their thing. And I didn't lie, this edge is starting to balloon outwards again. So. We shall continue on with row 18. Row 18. All right. Again, starting off by chaining up three and turning your work. Okay. Now, get the little tail out of the way there. All right. Then, scooting right into that first double V with a double V, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. All right, then this fan here, like I said, it's going to be the base of our next pineapple. So we need to spread out those doubles by doing a double into each double and a chain one space in between. So Scooting right into that first double with a double, chain one, and double. So we'll have nine doubles separated. It's two, and three, chain one. Don't forget that chain one. Four, chain one. Five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, and Nine. Okay, and then going right into the next double V with a double V. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. And then we need to finish up the top of this pineapple. So chain three. And then single crochet into that last remaining eyelet there. Chain three. And work our way to the next double V. So in the chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, that's two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. All right, and then we get to fan this particular fan out. So double in the double, chain one, double in the next, chain one, and so forth. So I've already got two three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, 
seven, chain one, eight, chain one, and nine. Okay, and then into the double V, another double V. So that's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Okay, then we get to finish up the top of this next pineapple. So, chain three, single into the eyelet space, chain three, and working our way up to the next double V. So, into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Almost, I was not quite able to get one of the plies. There we go. All right, and then going to build out this last fan. So into that first double, do a double, and then proceed with our chain spaces in between the doubles. So I get the double, chain one, that's two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, and nine. Beautiful. All right, then gonna finish up the row by doing a double V into the double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And one more double to go. And then there you are. That is the end of row 18. Yay! All righty. All right, last but certainly not least, row 19. Now this is the last row of the repeat, and then you would start over again from row four, which is in part one of this series. Links are of course in the description box, as well as timestamps to make it as easy as possible. So let's get to it. So row 19, beginning like any other row, chain up three and turn the work and proceed with a double V in the first chain space. Nothing new there. Okay, chain one, two more doubles. Also, I imagine that at this point, you have a pretty good indication how things are going to go because you know, we did the previous tier very similarly. So from here, going to make our eyelets above this pineapple. So chain three. You know, it's essentially the same stuff. It's just a matter of shifting and staggering the pineapples. So in that first chain one space, single crochet, chain three, single in the next, and keep doing this all the way across, and we will end up with a total of seven eyelets. And every subsequent row, one eyelet less will be remaining. Okay. There we are, chain three, single, chain three, and single, chain three, and 
single chain three and single. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. Okay. And then from here, we need to get to the next double V. So chain three, and then into the chain one space, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we are. Okay. Then we have to bring these two double V's together. And again, you want to be careful not to have too much slack. So I'm going to go into this next double V with a double V. So that is two doubles. Here we go. Sort of bridging the gap there. Chain one, two more doubles. Okay. And then we have to build these up, these eyelets. So scooting across with a chaining of three. And then single in that first chain space. Chain three and single, chain three, 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 single, one more, chain three, and single. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. Okie dokie. And then chain three and double V into that chain one space of the double V. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. All right, pull out a little bit more yarn. Okay, then we get to bridge the gap between this double V and this double V. So scooting right in with a pair of doubles. Chain one, two more doubles. Okay, chain three, and then we create more chain three eyelets. That first chain one space, single crochet. Chain three, and single. Chain three, and single, chain three three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, chain three, and single, there we go. All right, so it is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven eyelets, perfect. Then last, but certainly not least, we need to chain up three and do a double V into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one and two doubles. 
And there you go. So that is the full repeat. It's quite a bit of work, but like I said, I like to be thorough. And so yeah, you just keep repeating rows four through 19 as long as you want your project to be. And quite frankly, I think that this top edge is really quite nice. And also the fact that it's connected and joined, I think really polishes off these particular pineapples. I really like that. And there you go. Alrighty, my dears. So that's going to conclude today's series on the crocheted pineapple blanket. Really hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And as I said before, the timestamps, the links, it's all in the description box down below. So you can hop around to your heart's content and well, that's how I roll. So that being said, you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and let me know what you're going to do with this particular piece. You know, what, what sort of project, what sort of yarn? Always interested in hearing about your creative process. And until next time, you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.